Something less than an emergency, you can call 211. Operators there fielded plenty of calls today. Their community resource center connects Hoosiers with services like food pantries, shelters, and even heating services. News 8's Julian Grace joins us tonight, and I know, Julian, you actually talked with them today. I did, Mike, and these operators are ready to serve. Center took in about 800 calls, and that was before 5 o'clock this afternoon. Today, we watched as those at the call center took call after call. Hello, thank you for calling Connect to Help 211. This is Yolanda. It was a busy day at 211. And while others called it a day, the operators were there, making sure everyone was okay. We, we answer. We answer everything. We call ourselves the, the 911 of human services. So we answer everything from basic needs, food, housing, utilities, to crisis services. Hi, so Chloe, how can I help you? The calls were steady, not overwhelming. They expected 1,500, but got 800 just before five. Please take precaution. That's because it's believed the message got out. People stayed at home or got somewhere where it was warm and stayed in. I think there was really good preparation on the part of the city and state. They communicated to, to, to citizens that it's going to be dangerously cold and to stay inside. The food pantries may be listed on the closing information. And during their shifts, these operators connected callers with food, heating, or they even coordinated rides for overnight shelters. So our folks, they get 200 hours of training to answer these calls because you never know what you're going, going to get when you answer the phone. That is a lot of training. Now, last year, the center took in more than 107,000 calls. 211 connects other services as well. 